as we introduce data governance, it might be first interesting to relate it to traditional government, which is creating rules to protect and serve citizens. That's his objective. With data governance, on the other hand, what we're doing is creating rules and processes to protect our data and our stakeholders. And hopefully it enables us to achieve our goals, our objectives. Now, as we think about data governance, protecting that data, we watch it from acquisition, so when we get it, all the way until we dispose of it. So it's a full life cycle that we're interested in. And this helps ensure, so data governance helps ensure data quality, data availability, so it's ready when it's needed, as well as data security and privacy and compliance to regulatory requirements. And so there's three component pieces of data governance. There's policies, so what are the rules for managing the data? There's processes, which is how do we implement the defined policies? How do we implement those rules? And then roles, so who is responsible and accountable? So the policies are the what, the procedures are the how, and the roles are who, who's involved. So let's look at a few common policies you might see in the world of data governance. You could have a data access policy, so rules providing access to data, so it's not just a free for all. Data security and privacy policies, so rules for protecting data and collecting and using someone's personal data. And then data retention, rules for storing and disposing of data, how do we handle that properly? And then data quality policies, rules for maintaining data accuracy and reliability so we can trust it. So it could be a bunch of policies that roll up onto our data governance strategy. And so here's some common roles we could see too. So this is the who. You might have a data owner who's accountable and they might define the policy. And you could also have like a data steward who it doesn't necessarily define the policy, but is responsible for implementing it, following it. Now here's an example at a hospital perhaps. So you could have a data privacy policy, which defines rules for ensuring compliance with HIPAA. And HIPAA is a US law for protecting patient medical records. And a procedure following that policy is about how to anonymize data before analytics is performed. So we might take this patient data and then remove direct identifiers, alter indirect ones, assign unique codes, and perform some generalization or aggregation. So we lose or anonymize that data to protect the patients. Now, how about an e-commerce retailer? Maybe they've got a data access policy, which are rules for sharing data with supply chain partners. And it says that access must be based on the role, must be a need, and to follow the least privilege principle. We only give access to what's needed and provide the least privileges that are required. And so in the procedure that follows that policy, it could define how to review access requests to make sure this is done right. So maybe partners submit a request and specify the need for data access. Data owners review and approve the request if it makes sense, if it's appropriate, and then data stewards might grant access and then notify the individual. There's a policy, a procedure, and then roles for who's involved in this.